Hi, this is Kurt Blattenberger with RF Cafe and we're demonstrating the waveform of a, an electronic speed controller for a, a DC brushless motor. It's actually a three-phase motor even though it's called DC. And we're looking on the display of a Hitachi V355 35 megahertz oscilloscope. I have a 10 to 1 Hitachi probe attached to it. It's been compensated uh, for frequency. So we're going to start right now. There's uh, no RPM on the motor. You're going to hear it start up here. You can see the waveform is essentially peak to peak equal to the battery voltage, which in this case is a two cell lithium polymer. So that's at 7.4 volts. Uh, what you'll see here in a moment is that the output waveform for the phases is a combination of a frequency uh, modulation as well as a pulse width modulation. The waveform you're seeing now is actually made up of a series of uh, square waves and as the motor speed increases we'll be able to we can zoom out there and take a look at those individual pulses synced up now that's getting a little more clear. Uh, right now, just for reference, uh, there's one millisecond per division and you're seeing one, two, three, a little less than three milliseconds uh, total peak to peak. You can see as the motor speed increases that the frequency output of the controller also increases. We're at, we're at full speed there. Um, I'm going to crank this out. There's a half a millisecond per division or 500 microseconds per division so we're at one two right at two milliseconds I'll go ahead and slow it down so we don't burn things up here I'm gonna crank this out so you can see these uh, the modulated pulse widths on here uh, see if we can get a good display it's a very complicated waveform as you can see. I'll slow this down a little bit. Okay. So you can see the aliasing going on inside the pulses. Alright. Let's see, we're at 50 microseconds per division there. So you're seeing about 80 microseconds is the pulse period on the waveform. I'm going to go ahead and vary the frequency. You can see the pulse width increasing while the period is staying roughly the same. There's a little bit of shift in the display because the sync on the display is changing. But uh, there you can see there's a pretty good capture of it. This is very low speed here. You can see it's got a kind of a step but you can watch the overall pulse width increasing as the speed increases and as you go back towards zero RPM there's just a very very slight pulse width. Okay so that's it I'm going to turn it off now and I'll turn on the overhead light and I'll show you what the setup looks here. Looks like uh, there we are. That's just the two cell LiPo battery sitting up there. Uh, there's the oscilloscope connection right there, not focusing very well. Uh, and there we just have a couple of test leads patched into the battery compartment of the airplane. This is an E-Flight Mini Pulse XT. Uh, let's see if we can zoom out and show you the entire airplane. There it is there. Okay, thank you.